it's that time again as in 6 a.m. I'm kidding um spring break well it is kidding it, oh my god well it actually <sighs> didn't enough sleep for this it is spring break but I'm not going on a spring break trip <laughs> we're going to LSU for battle on the bayou very exciting never been so should be fun our flights at 9 a.m. But first, I'm gonna go to Moe's Bagels because I have all my gold card money. So I'm gonna be gone Wednesday through Saturday. So might as well spend on breakfast and not have to make anything. We can watch, there's the moon, but we can watch the little sunrise. There's the track, newly redone. And here's where the engineering students go, which <laughs> could never be me. It's kind of oily. Hell yeah. Mm hmm I'm back! Like, almost exactly six hours later. Uh, we're now in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Look at Mississippi River! But after our plane landed, we drove and got lunch. We drove almost like an hour and a half from New Orleans to Baton Rouge. We just did a shakeout on the river. Like there was like a little river walk. So we did a shakeout right there. And now we're trying to figure out where we're gonna go for dinner. But that's the plan. We don't run tomorrow. So we have tomorrow off again and we'll do another run at the track tomorrow. Yeah, first impressions of Louisiana. Didn't know it's below sea level. Talk about an advantage, coming from 5,500 feet to like, I think Baton Rouge was like 60 feet. So, I mean, <laughs> sounds pretty good to me. Also on the plane, the whole time on the plane, I read this book, A Court of Mist and Fury. Oh my god. If you haven't read the series, go read it right now. It's so good. Even if you don't like fantasy, you're gonna like it. So good. <laughs> We're back. It's Thursday morning. Uh, what did we do yesterday? I know. <laughs> well, I, oh, we went to dinner and then we just came back and hung out in the hotel and then went to bed. But we went and got breakfast at the hotel and now we're going to the vintage coffee shop. It's literally right there, right across the street. Oh, sweet. Well, <laughs> so I'm gonna do better at vlogging, but Baton Rouge. <laughs> Walked around, like walked to the Capitol, walked around a little, little like city part. They went to market, so I'll be a little grocery haul. Number one, gallon of water, a hotel essential. My biggest pet peeve about hotels is they never have water for you to fill up. Like I never realized that was a huge thing until I started like going on travel trips. This is my petition to start putting refillable water bottle stations in hotels on each floor. Anyways, I got two of these because I'm really craving fruit and vegetables right now, but there weren't any at the grocery store that I could get. So, now I'm doing the same thing. And then we're gonna get applesauce packets, but they didn't sell those. But it's like 12, my parents are coming down, we're gonna go get lunch, so we'll see. On my wedding day. Boom. 
married. <laughs> We're here in the old state capital. The meets That's why. How you feel post shakeout? I feel great. Side eye. 20 point gang in the building, you know what I'm saying, bro. I'm about to go crazy. Abby, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. I'm excited for my first hurdle race tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Are you feeling Nikki G? Feeling good. <laughs> Luke? Feeling good. Feeling even better to be part of the vlog. <laughs> Back from the shakeout. I got sunburnt. I got sunburnt at. Oh, you can see it! At, this is from lunch. Oh, that's bad. But then the rest of my arm got sunburnt. I never get burnt. Something about that Louisiana sun. Tragic. My chest got a little burnt. Um, oh! A little? <laughs> sitting so bad. Um, drinking my smoothie with Ian, but that's so the bad. rest of me is. Not terrible. I'm peeling from my last burn. It looks pretty bad on camera, I'm gonna be honest. My peeling or my It looks sunburn. really red. Hmm. Yeah. Well, my chest is a little red. So. Is that a sunburn too? No, that's my rolls. <laughs> <laughs> she also has a stem on. You wanna explain the stem? I'm to be honest, I don't know what it does. Um so Koki tells me to do it, so I do it. And that's that's it. That's all she wrote. That's all she has. <laughs> We're back at the coffee shop. Look how cute. I mean, I got breakfast here instead of the hotel, which is way better. A little coffee, got a vanilla latte, avocado toast. We got our books to read. Good times. We don't run till 5.30. And so we don't leave for till 3.15. So we gotta sleep in. Yeah. What did you get? I got the breakfast biscuits and it's um, an egg and some bacon on a little really buttery biscuits. What about your little drink over here? Um, it was a lemonade hibiscus something. <laughs> it's really good. Really yummy. I got an avocado toast. And a fruit bowl. <laughs> I just got treatment in today's or is that the hot girl walk? Today's the hot girl job. about a little over an hour for the track. Feeling good, feeling hydrated. We're like 70 degrees. That humid. So blessed. Baton Rouge. Just watching myself jog by in the windows. I actually look really stupid when I jog. <laughs> that was so humbling. Like juggling at a slow, slow pace. Oh my, it is not flattering. This is why I stay sprinting. I also forgot to mention, I'm riding the 400 hurdles today. This is outdoor season. That was my jog. Yeah, I'm doing, I didn't realize if I ever mentioned this, but I'm doing the four hurdles 
I'm a 400 hurdler outdoor, so four hurdles today, 400 tomorrow. Let's have a breath after that jog. And next time, in about three hours, we're gonna be sprinting with obstacles. Saturday, almost 10.30. Last night I went to dinner with my parents, then went to bed. I just got breakfast with them at that vintage place again. We had to leave at 11.30, bring all of our stuff, because we fly out of New Orleans tonight after the meet at like 9 p.m. So it's time to get ready for day two. Today we're in the open four, and I haven't ran the open four outdoors. Like last year I ran the open four outdoors when I was coming back from an injury and it was like my first race back so I didn't really run it very well. But I haven't like legitimately like ran an open four in like a big race since high school. So like outdoors. So I'm kind of feeling like I don't know how to run the open four even though like I do because I run it all of indoor and I run on the four by four. But I'm like this feels different. Like I don't like I feel like I don't know how to run. <laughs> The open four, so we'll see how it goes. But it's time to get ready. Today I'm gonna do pigtails. Should be a fun little moment. Listen to Rio Olympics in the four by four. Lane four, Diane Martin, Kentucky. On your mark. home late last travel trip <laughs> try 2 a.m it's 2 a.m we left the same day as the meet and it's 2 a.m just got back home um wrap on this weekend i rent a 400 today i guess yesterday it was disappointing didn't go as i wanted didn't run it very well uh weekend as a whole 
honestly disappointing. I did not perform how I wanted to. Like, they were decent, but they weren't up to my expectations. But it's only the second meet of outdoor, I guess, so you whoop dee. I can do it again next weekend, so I'll fix it. 